Welcome to Guernica Edition's Virtual Spring Launch. My name is Guglielmo Marizia, and I'm going to be reading a short passage from my debut novel, The Transaction. I hope you enjoy it. The veins of burning myrrh, which rows of women doggedly fanning themselves turn into fine mist, and the palpable humidity, not to mention the questionable personal hygiene of some of the mourners, are to blame for the lack of breathable air. To make things worse, the room temperature has now reached a febrile state. The feeling is like being inside some sort of living organism. The heat radiates with ever rising pressure from body to body, as it does through connecting tissues. A door across the room until now hidden because of all the people standing in front of it, winds open, enough to let in a wedge of pale yellow light. A concerto of creaky chairs, accompanied by an almost choreographed turning of necks, follows. The door opens wider, revealing two silhouettes, a woman holding hands with a little girl. As they step inside and walk through a human corridor, the child breaks free and makes a run for the catafalque, stopping quite suddenly by the sensor on the left side of it. She's somberly dressed, far beyond her age, yet seemly. Her chest and hip-long hair, held back with a black velvet band, softly cascades along a slender contours. She stands in absolute stillness, looking down at Tomazzini. The woman, who ushered her in, catches up with her and tries unsuccessfully to whisk her away. Marinella, the widow says in a broken, anemic tone, extending her arm. The child untangles her suffer from the woman, rushes to her mother, and climbs onto her lap, gently letting her head find comfort on her mother's bosom. The woman, after a brief exchange of glances with the widow, reluctantly moves away from the catafalque and disappears behind the shadowy figures. At that moment, the child gets off her mother's lap just as quickly as she got on and moves close to Tomazzini's body. The widow leans forward to stop the child, but gives up in mid-motion. The girl is standing by her father's face, waving her hand over it to disperse the cluster of flies feasting on it. Then, all of a sudden, the child aims her large almond-shaped eyes of a striking aquamarine color in my direction. And even though I'm well aware it's impossible for her to see my face when I'm standing, at least not fully. She seems to be staring right at me. <laughs>